So we're talking about reality shifting by changing your predominant emotional state or pattern and really by changing how your nervous system is reacting. So the nervous system is there to protect you, to keep you safe. It, it really is. That's its job. But it gets things wrong and it doesn't have a way to interpret time. It always thinks that it's in the past where you had a situation where you had an experience and it's utilizing that to interpret the now. It's your lens, like I saw said before. So how, how do we get our nervous system to change? It's really quite simple. You have to re-educate the nervous system. And the nervous system is not your mind. Your brain is a part of it, but it's really every bit of your physical body combined with your consciousness. Now, your consciousness is really just the awareness that you've come to so far with age and experience. And it's colored by all of those experiences. And it also has some discernment that's unavailable to you at different lower levels of nervous system reactivity. So the nervous system needs to be accessed through the physical body. So in cognitive movement, we do it through the eyes. We do it through the emotion, the feeling of the emotion. And we do it through other things like physical touch and moving the body. Bill always says the eyes, the brain, the spinal cord are all one unit. So to access the brain, we use the eyes. It's the only way to look at the brain is through the eyes, unless you know, you've know you got a, an MRI machine or a CAT scan. So we look at the eyes and we utilize the eyes to help change one end of the nervous system, the brain. The other end is you know, your fingers, your toes, your skin, because they are constantly taking in the world around you. And then the emotional state. 